All right, guys. So um, I took the um, the water flow sensor off. Uh, you're gonna you're probably asking why there's um, electric tape on here, and the reason being is that um, um, it was just a pain in the ass to take the unit off from the bottom. So I had cut um, cut the wires so I could unscrew it, which I shouldn't have done because, um, like I said unscrewing this from the bottom it's almost uh, there's almost a huge huge chance that you're gonna break you're gonna break it off and you're gonna ruin the threads on on the screw so uh, unscrew it from the top uh, do what you need to do with it um, as far as um, uh, as you guys can see uh, there's a little spinner uh, inside this unit this is the uh, this is the top portion of it. This is the uh, bottom portion of it. And this is, sorry, this is the other side of it. And uh, this is the bottom of it. Uh, I'm gonna take this guy, take this little thing off you guys, um, just to see what's inside. Um, so before I did that, I marked it just to make sure uh, I know uh, the placements of these parts are aligned when I put it back together. All right, guys. Um, as you guys can see, there's three. There's three lines coming from this unit. Um, I the uh, I assume that uh, the red is the positive, the um, black. Uh, is uh, the negative and the other line uh, which is uh, a white um, wire is uh, you know goes to the sensor uh, I'm just gonna unscrew uh, these four screws all right guys so I've unscrewed the four screws uh, just to let you know I did take this unit off uh, before I have taken this unit off before because um, uh, I, I I read somewhere that uh, some guy did take it apart and clean it out and uh, got this unit working. I did the same and uh, it didn't work for me. So let me show you what the um, inside this unit looks like. So I'm taking the cover off. So there's the inside of the cover. There's a little circuit board here. Uh, there's a seal okay so there's a ring around the circuit board a water seal around the circuit board that is that you guys can take off and there's the circuit board itself And as you can tell, that's pretty much the whole circuitry of the unit. Uh, as far as the rest of the unit is concerned, let me see if I could actually try to pry this open for you guys. Okay. So I just pried that open and um, this is what it looks like on the inside. All right, so this is the spinner that uh, everybody's had issues with, or, or apparently that's the culprit for why the unit isn't, um, doesn't start or whatever. But uh, here's the thing. I don't think that's the main issue. Reason being is, uh, as you look at it, um, there's no issues with this thing spinning. I mean, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's not, it's not, um, it's not slow to spin. It's not blocked or anything like that. There's, uh, no issues with it. So, um, if you guys saw the video of this, um, I don't know how this could be the issue, uh, culprit of why, uh, this unit won't start, um, I mean, it would be great if this was the issue because it would be an absolutely easy fix. 
but uh, as you can see this little wheel uh, inside the unit spins pretty freely um, and I'm gonna put this back on and try to see if I can find a can of air and um, um, and spin it for you guys all right guys I found an air can so uh, I'm gonna spin this little unit for you show you how uh, this works as far as you know as far as what it looks like from the inside when you spin it uh, as you can see um, all right that's that's just um, that's just from the can but um, as you can see uh, no issues with this thing spinning All right, so uh, I'm just gonna put this back together. Goes like that. And uh, I'm just gonna do a little spin for you guys just to, um, just to show you that uh, there are no issues. There's no issues with the little spinner. If you guys can hear it, it spins. Uh, you know, you hear that little zip going on. That's the spinner going, uh, spinning. Yeah, so you guys can hear that. Uh, all right, guys. I'm just going to put these this back together. All right, so um, I believe that if you guys can see why isn't my camera focusing all right guys as you can see um, I believe this is the way that I had it before and um, this little seal right here goes into the um, those spaces it's just like this and it just fits in there And uh, yeah, this is the uh, correct positioning because you see this little space for the wires on the bottom. But um, all these parts pretty much slip into to their positions uh, nicely. All right, so you guys put this together. Um, look at the little notch on the um, the cover. Uh, that's where the wires are going through. So I'm just gonna screw this back together. All right, guys, so I have this uh, reassembled, and uh, I'm just going to put it back um, uh, in the unit. All right, guys, I'm going to put this back into the unit. Um, just want to tell you guys that you know which which um, which um, portion, which end <laughs> is attached to which, uh, which tube. Um, the end with the uh, seal on it uh, is the ghost... Uh, towards the bottom and uh, the end without the water seal actually uh, fits right into the top portion of this uh, and it goes this way it goes this way uh, you're probably, you guys are probably wondering why I have this little um, plastic tube here again um, I stripped I stripped the um, the thread um, on the bottom half of this so um, I just it was just a hack uh, as far as um, uh, connecting uh, these two, um, this unit, uh, this little um, sensor to the unit. Um, it didn't work. Well, um, it did work. It worked the way it, I, I thought uh, it would work as far as uh, the connection is concerned. But as far as firing it up, I was still having the same issues as, um, as far as starting this unit up. Um, consequently, I just want to tell you guys that um, there is another circuit board on the bottom of this unit 